Hi there, Loyola, and welcome to tonight's episode of the Rambler Sports Locker. I'm Maura Guthrie. And I'm Brendan Bond. We'd like to start off tonight's show with a shout out to the men's soccer team, who are in Peoria tonight at 7 in the first round of the NCAA tournament against the Bradley Braves. And we'd especially like them to congratulate them on an amazing run to first place in the Horizon League tournament. We have some breaking news tonight. Dale Swamy has just been named Cubs manager. According to reports, it's a three-year deal with a club option for a fourth. The Cubs will introduce Swamy at a press conference 9 o'clock Friday morning. The basketball season is underway. The men are 0-3 after a 65-61 loss at Eastern Illinois Wednesday night. The women take their 2-0 record to Southern Illinois tonight at 7. This is their first 2-0 start since 2001. Maybe the lack of NBA play will help out the crowds of Gentile this season. Uh, I wasn't going to go there, Brendan, but hey, maybe that's one positive. <laughs> Let's hand it off to Mary Sugden, who is in the studio with Ben Averkamp, junior forward for the Rambler men's basketball team. Thanks, Maura. I'm now joined on set by junior forward for the men's basketball team and co-captain, Ben Averkamp. Ben, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, as I understand it, you're not only talented on the court, but you're also very talented in the classroom. You were valedictorian of your high school, and here at Loyola, you're a bio major. Yeah. So what is it like balancing all of that coursework with being a college athlete? Well, it's a lot. Uh, every day, it, it, you know, you got to find time just to fit in your studies. You know, days go from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. So at, at night, I try to find a little time, you know, a couple hours every night, get something done, be productive, but then uh, you know, ultimately, I just just got to get things done you know, on the weekends, act. on the road. It is a balancing act for me, for sure. Definitely. That's very impressive. And there have been a lot of changes to the athletic department over the last year, and most notably for your team has been head coach Porter Moser being brought in. Yeah. What kind of presence has he had within your program so far? What has he really brought to the table for you guys? I think he's brought a lot of energy, uh, enthusiasm, and definitely a mindset and a culture of, of wanting to change and, and really make Loyola a winning basketball program you know we had it in the in the 60s and in the 80s too and, and he really wants to restore that and make Loyola respected again in basketball. And along with all the changes now there's the new facilities with Norville and Gentile what do you think it's going to be like playing in this brand new gym do you think it's going to bring any kind of changes to your season this year? I, I think it's, ex it's exciting I mean it's uh, been in there now a couple times and, and it really feels now like it, it could have a college atmosphere before Gentile was kind of you know, like a glorified high school gym, but now really, I feel like will give us a huge home court advantage, and it'll also, you know, draw interest for our students and wanting to go to games. Hopefully, pump up the student section, get you guys a little bit more cheering. Exactly. I mean, it would be great to have a Butler home atmosphere for every game. I mean, we get you know such a great turnout for those games. It would be great to have that on a, you know, on other Thursday night games. On the regular games, definitely. So this is your third year now with the Ramblers. How do you think this team stacks up against the last two teams you've played with? It's, it's a lot different. I mean, part of it's just being older and having a different perspective on it. But, um, you know, we're young this year, and, and we're not as deep. So it'll, you know, it's, a lot of guys are going to have to learn fast. I mean, outside of Walton, myself, and, and even John Minkowski a little bit, a lot of these guys have not logged significant college minutes. So for us, I mean, the learning curve is, is pretty great. But hopefully then by the end of the year, we'll be playing really well together. Definitely. How then do you think your team stacks up against the rest of the Horizon League so far? Well, I think that, I mean, you see the Horizon League is a strong league. You see Cleveland State beating Vanderbilt. I mean, it's, it's going to be tough. I mean, that's, the Horizon League has been, has been respected, the top ten league the past couple of years. But uh, you know, I think there's an opportunity for us um, to go out there and, and get some good conference wins and make some noise come March. Definitely. And you guys were just came back from a road trip. You played University of Illinois, Kansas State, and Eastern. Yep. And unfortunately, you dropped all those matches. But was there anything you guys took away from that as far as maybe what your strengths and weaknesses were so far, what you kind of going to look to work on? Yeah. You know, Illinois Illinois was tough. I mean, each game kind of was, was different in and of itself. I mean, Illinois, they were, they were very, like, long, athletic. Um, that was tough. In Kansas State, too, they, they pressured. You know, so we, we learned right there that, you know, what we have to do as far as even just simple things is getting open. But uh, Eastern was tough, and maybe Eastern – will help us learn, how, I guess, learn how to win is, would be something, um, and finish games because we had an opportunity to close it out last night and just didn't make it happen. Didn't finish it out. Yeah. All right. So out of this whole season, if, if you could pick one match maybe that was like the game to watch, the match to be at, is there anyone that you can kind of pinpoint for Rambler fans to get out to? Um, well, obviously our first one at, at uh, Gentile, you know, November 26th is a big one. But then um, Butler and in January and then we have a, a Friday night ESPNU game against Cleveland State. Um, I obviously love to have a, a great student showing there for a nationally televised game. 
Definitely. And then finally, what do you think are your team's season goals as far as moving forward? What are you kind of looking to accomplish this season? Well, ultimately, you want to win your conference tournament and get to the NCAA tournament. So that, that's our goal. And it, I think we see as a team right now that we're probably not going to be the most talented team. But if we learn how to play well um, together collectively as a group and we guard, that we're going to be tough to beat. Definitely. Well, I wish you the best of luck. And thank you once again for being here. And back to you guys in the studio. Loyola men's soccer team has had quite an up and down season. After finishing the year with a record of 7, 11, and 2, Loyola went into the Horizon League tournament as the lowest seed. However, the Ramblers were able to continue their ride to, the late, to ride their late season win streak to a berth in the NCAA tournament. Ramblers sport lockers Joe Flaherty caught up with the team to see how they're preparing for the tournament road ahead. Loyola's men's soccer team set up for one final practice at Hoyne Field before heading down to Peoria to prepare for the 2011 NCAA tournament. After a shaky start to the season, the Ramblers put together a late run that spanned through the Horizon League tournament and resulted in the team's third NCAA tournament berth in six years. I spoke with Horizon League tournament standouts Peter McCune and Eric Morofsky to get their take on this roller coaster season that they don't want to end. Moravsky, who scored the game's lone goal in their overtime victory versus Wright State, reflected on the experience. Definitely a great experience and a great feeling celebrating with all the fans over on the sideline. Horizon League Tournament MVP Pete McCune told me about the team's approach to the tournament and shared his excitement for the games ahead. Uh, it was exactly like the last five games we were just taking it one moment at a time. Every, every minute that ticked by we wanted to be in it and uh, not take anything for for granted, we want to have the game end and, and have it be over without us having gotten hold of what it meant. So, uh, just took every moment like that, um, and I think uh, it really helped with the focus throughout all the games, and we got the results. Uh, well, we're excited. We were, we know that whatever team we got uh, drawn against, we were going to give them a good run, uh, and we're very confident in how we're playing right now. Uh, we're defending as 11 players. We're attacking as 11 players. And, uh, no matter who we came up against, we were going to be excited, but now we get to keep the trend of playing someone who's already beat us, so that's exciting. All right. The Ramblers will travel to Peoria to face Bradley University at 7 p.m. on November 17th. A win will set up a date with 12th seeded Louisville on November 20th. For the Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Joe Flaherty. Well, it's that time. Let's check in over at the round table to see who they think will be the most successful Rambler team of the year. By winning the conference tournament, Loyola's men's soccer team has set the foundation of how any good sports team want, should achieve. I'm here with Griffin, Rebecca, and Amanda Crowen. Which team do you guys think is going to be the most successful of all Loyola's athletic teams this year? Well, first off, Nick, I really want to congratulate the Loyola men's soccer team. Uh, what a tremendous mm -hmm. job they did. Um, I mean, I'm really excited to hear about the results for tonight's game. But on this note, uh, the most successful team in my eyes is it's going to be the Loyola men's basketball, or excuse me, Loyola men's volleyball team. Um, they're, they're, last year they went to the finals, um, MEVA Conference finals, um, played a tremendous Ohio State team, lost just by two games, at, and this year they're, they're bringing back all four starters, and they're coming back with guys, uh, a freshman by the name of Cody Caldwell. He's a 6'6 outside hitter. He's going to be tremendous. He was a high school All-American. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the season. <laughs> yeah, as I agree with you, Griff, the men's volleyball team is amazing. I, I have to go with the women's softball team. They're led by Missy Baceres. I mean, in her first season as um, the softball head coach, she had a, a, rec a season record of 28 wins. Um, she was Horizon League Coach of the Year, um, the first coach to get that. Um, and then led by pitchers uh, Brittany Gardner. I mean, she's good. She, yeah, <laughs> she's, <very laughs> she's, a, she's amazing. And 31 consecutive scoreless innings, and she was only a freshman. She's incredible, and um, looking forward to see what they can do um, this spring. 
See, I also agree with you, softball and even volleyball are going to have a good team. But you can't take away from what Loyola's men's soccer team has done this year. They have the results. They've gotten to the conference championship. They beat a very tough Valpo team. They beat Wright State. They have, they've gotten the results. They've made it to the NCAA tournament. While well, I agree with you, Nick, I mean, I got to tell you, them getting to the national championship, just not quite as high as I think the Loyola men's volleyball team will go. They're gonna, they have a team that last year they could have won it. This year they have new guys that will step in, a healthy Mike Bunting. They're going to get, get going this year. The, my, my thoughts on that are like, while Loyola did have the team last year, they didn't get there. Loyola got to the finals and won oh, for soccer this oh, year. Ohio yeah, State but. is not bringing back all four of their starters. They're bringing back one. That's our team to beat in the Loyola men's volleyball team. And now with the four returning starters, I think they could do it. Yeah, but you guys, you're, you're talking about, you know, men's soccer, they finally made it, but their, their record is under 500. And men's volleyball, yeah, they're an incredible team, but they blew it against Ohio State. Women's softball has proven that they are a successful team. Did they make it as far as they could last spring? No, but this year it's going to be completely different. Missy Paceres is in her second season as head coach, and... Uh, Brittany Gardner, Kelly Enkelkins, they're, they're in their second years. I mean, they're going to be incredible. Uh, well, that's going to do it for the roundtable this segment. For Griffin, Rebecca, and Amanda Crowen, I'm Nick Amatangelo. Back to you guys at the desk. Well, that'll do it for us here at the L Rambler Sports Locker. I'm Mara Guthrie. And I'm Brendan Bond. From all of us at Rambler Sports Locker, happy Thanksgiving. And don't forget to turn out the light. <laughs>